Hey, what's going on everybody? Memphis J here and I got a quick unboxing. I'm gonna do this real quick. This is the ARC ARC Public Safety Series Police slash Fire Cree LED strobe lights from Firehouse Technology. So I ordered this on Friday and it arrived on Wednesday. So this is what's inside. Want to see this side? Yes. Firehouse Technologies. I'll read it for you in a second if you would like. Firehouse Technology. Unmanned aerial systems. RC aircraft. Paramotors. High output strobe module. Directions for use. Press and hold button. Three seconds for on or off. Tap button to change lighting modes. Charge one and a half hours for full charge. Charge. Light blinks solid for full. Tap button when off to see if charged. Do not remove plastic dust slash mist cover to mount. Make surface make sure surface is clean of oil dirt. Use 3M VHR double-sided tape to secure recommended white strobe on top and bottom. Use color strobes on arms for navigation. Always check before flight to make sure. Do not use in rain. Not waterproof without case. LiPo battery. Do not charge unattended. Dispose of damaged or bloated LiPo batteries. Questions? Contact us at firehousetechnology.com. So yeah, if you want to check this out, firehousetechnology.com is how you get to it. I'm going to crack it open. We'll see what's inside. All right. First off, we got a short little USB to, I'm going to guess, micro USB. So yeah, that's about, I guess, a foot long. Yeah. Maybe a foot, maybe a foot long. And other than that, you have the piece de resistance. So from what I'm pretty sure, these are the two reds, these are the two whites. So it's got red and white. I got the uh, white model. Um, it is wrapped, if you could see, uh, it's hard to make it out there. It's got plastic going over it. So it is wrapped in plastic. And I guess that's what they call their um, plastic dust slash mist cover. So it is not waterproof, but should keep a little bit of mist off of there. Um, I'm going to guess... I don't even know where the button is yet. But anyway, charge it up for an hour and a half using this, and they also send you um, about this much of these people's double-sided tape. So that's what's inside of here. I will, uh, record a little bit more here once I hook it up to the drone and let you see what it actually looks like. So, hey, see you in a minute. Upon checking it out, it came fully charged. I plugged it in and it blinked like twice and then it went to a solid light, which according to the back means that's fully charged. Uh, there is a little button. I'm going to call this the bottom down here and this the top. Um, again, these are your two LEDs, the red ones. These are your two white ones. Down here in the bottom, in this corner, there's a little bitty switch right here. Little bitty switch right there. Anyway, uh, if you push that once, real quick. Oh, it's turning on. Push it once, it's blinking like this. That's just letting you know your batteries are good to go. If you push it and hold it, it turns on. So this is the first mode it comes on to. Blink, 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 blink. Red and white. Those are kind of fast blinks. You got a slower blink, red, white, red, white, red. Push it again. Then you got this fast. Actually, this is just a strobe. This is a little bit quicker back and forth, red and white. Red, white, red, red, white, white, red. White, white, and then back to a strobe. So maybe it's three modes. 
it's hard to tell how fast if those are different modes on the blinking but those are your different modes um i have seen these mounted on arms like this um they do give you some double-sided tape like i said so i'm going to experiment around with this and see how it actually looks if i get a chance to this evening i will fly it if it stays as nice outside as it is um, I may fly it here in the backyard in a minute and give you an idea of what it looks like during the day because that's part of what I brought it for bought it for I don't do a lot of night flying but I wanted to do it safely and legally and this will allow you to be seen three miles away um, it says it's it's legit for part 107 use so I'm uh, I'm excited to see it I really could have used it on this recent auction job I'll add you got to hold the button to turn it off about as long, maybe two seconds, about as long as it takes to turn it on. So, um, I'm impressed with the unit so far. It, you know, it's it's nothing amazing. Um, nothing amazing technology-wise, but it looks like it would get the job done. And for the price, I mean, it seems pretty kick-ass. So, let's see what it looks like up in the air, all right? So, I have now moved it to the... Uh, depending on how you look, I'll say the left side if you're talking about from the aircraft, so the left aircraft arm. So that's it blinking with the steady white, white, red, white, white, red on the ground here. Zoom back out to regular. Get this bad boy on. So that's it right in front of you. Let's see if I can hold it in view. So, all right, keeping it from hovering over the road, that is, let's see, 35 feet high, 79 feet out. Let's zoom in. Yeah, zoomed in, you can see. You make out the white a little bit better than the red. As I bring it in closer to me. I can definitely see the red and the whites as I turn and y'all I can't see the blinking anymore yeah when it's facing the other way I can't see the blinking at all but if you had lights on the back blinking at you that would be nice but when it faces to me I can when I yaw it this way I quit being able to see it about there or so. I can see it. Quit being able to see it about there. So I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm going to take it up higher. So I know it's impossible for y'all to tell, but that is 112 feet up. And I can still make out the blinking lights with the camera here. I zoom all the way in. I can see those lights blinking pretty solid. So even in the daylight, you could see the lights. See, let's watch. Find the drone. Oh, there it is. It's blinking at me. Hard to tell, zoomed out. There it is. That is 240 feet. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm doing this while flying. So there it is at 313 feet. I can see it blinking. Take it up to the max 400 just for those that want to see it. 385. There is 398. And that's what it looks like from down here. Now that is zoomed in. But I can see the white and the red blinking really easily from here. So 
See if I can find it again with the phone. There it is. Now that is with the sunlight directly on that light. You can still make it out that it's blinking. It doesn't look exactly right coming through the camera, I don't think, but yeah. Even from the side, I can see a little bit of blinking. When it's facing the other way, I can't see it. Even just one would, would help you with your orientation, but a second one on the back would really, especially if they were different colors, one flashing red and white, one flashing white and red, then you would be great. All right, that is at 120 feet up. That is at 203 feet. Two hundred and fifty feet. That's at three hundred and thirteen feet. Straight up and pull it back a little bit. Probably see those lights better. They are a lot brighter than the lights that come on this Autel Evo or any UAV I've ever flown. So this is kind of a dark version of the golden hour. It's about sunset right now. So legally I need these to fly. And I could see it. I just had a plane fly by. And uh, I think he saw the lights because he came a little closer and then rounded around and went away. So, so far so good with these. All right, this is... Kind of just past sunset. I'll tell Evo it's not fully dark yet, but the sun is down. And that is at 21 feet up, so. Thirty feet up. And that's not full dark time. Definitely. You can see it's brighter than the others, though you can see those red lights a lot better than you've been able to all day so so this is in not completely pitch black but this is at 250 feet up at about 6 15 6 30 at night so the uh, s8 is making it look a little brighter but you can see it that bright out there this late so i'm zooming in i'm now overdubbing this after the fact this is 
a another flight one I did a little bit later and I'm gonna play around with some ISOs here a little bit and just kind of see my main purpose was to see can you see the light like blinking off the house or the ground or different things like that so I'll play around with the ISO and shutter speeds um, as I'm recording this video it gets a little bit more interesting here in a second if if nothing a little bit more around the world but I don't do a lot of night flying so I didn't want to fly around too much until I knew how the light looked and uh, you know I have to say it, it I don't see it coming through on this video I'm gonna pop a couple of pictures up along the way but uh, I don't I didn't see it affect photography or video um, but it definitely made the aircraft easier to see and easier faster location um, it was also easy to get your bearings whether you just had one light on the front or one on the back it would kind of help you know which way it was facing because that's a hard thing to um, always see when you're flying especially during the day but also at night even though you can see the uh, aircraft's stock lights and another thing you do need these lights if you're going to be doing anything commercial and uh, I think they would satisfy they're supposed to as far as I know um, I don't do a lot of night flying like I said so I could be wrong on some of this stuff I was just trying to turn the drone around different ways and see how the light changed the uh, orientation and uh, or how the light affected how the orientation looked you know because that's one of the reasons why I wanted it was so that I could easily see which way the drone was facing if I knew what light was on the front or back at this point now, that green light blinking is my controller on the porch. I uh, dropped the dropped it down to a, a lower ISO just to see if I could get um, this is either 800 or 1600 ISO. But you know, even that dark, I don't see it blinking. That was a a, a shutter speed change or an ISO change, probably. But looking out at full nighttime flight. Changing the ISOs. I'm not noticing that light blinking off of things. Even this was a pretty dark night. Um, I'm gonna lift up here slowly, and we'll see. Y'all, let me know in the comments if you see anything uh, other than in front of you. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the Firehouse LED so far. It definitely made night flying feel a little bit safer, and. Uh, actually in compliance and I think it would help even during the day like you know sending it out on a mapping mission or uh, on a waypoint mission that's gonna take it far away from you um, it would definitely make it easier to find if you look down at your screen and then look back up and you're trying to find it so I am uh, just gonna ride out this shot here I appreciate you checking this out and uh, tuning in to my channel Keep it tuned in. I've got some stuff coming at you soon in the future, a show that I'm working on um, building the content up so I can do it right. But I'm going to keep dropping videos as I can. And uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for the support. Check us out. Subscribe. That really helps the small channels. Um, if you're still here, hey, I appreciate it.